This is the 27th talk in this collection, and uh, here it's entitled Training This Mind. It was uh, previously published under the title About This Mind in the book Taste of Freedom. Training This Mind. Training This Mind. Actually, there is nothing much to this mind. It's simply radiant in and of itself. It's naturally peaceful. Why the mind doesn't feel peaceful right now is because it gets lost in its own moods. There's nothing to the mind itself. It simply abides in its natural state. That's all. That sometimes the mind feels peaceful and other times not peaceful is because it's been tricked by these moods. The untrained mind lacks wisdom. It's foolish. Moods come and trick it into feeling pleasure one minute and suffering the next. Happiness, then sadness. But the natural state of a person's mind isn't one of happiness or sadness. This experience of happiness and sadness is not the actual mind itself, but these are just moods which have tricked it. The mind gets lost, carried away by these moods, with no idea what's happening. And as a result we experience pleasure and pain accordingly, because the mind has not yet been trained. It still isn't very clever. And we go on thinking that it's our mind which is suffering, or our mind which is happy when actually it's just lost in its various moods. The point is that really this mind of ours is naturally peaceful. It's still and calm, like a leaf that is not being blown about by the wind. But if the wind blows, then it flutters. It does that because of the wind. And so with the mind it's because of these moods, getting caught up with thoughts. If the mind doesn't get lost in these moods, it wouldn't flutter about. If it understood the nature of thoughts, it would just stay still. This is called the natural state of the mind. And why we've come to practice now is to see the, the mind in this original state. We think that the mind itself is actually pleasurable or peaceful, but really the mind has not created any real pleasure or pain. These thoughts have come and tricked it, and it has got caught up in them. So we really have to come and train our minds in order to grow in wisdom, so that we understand the true nature of thoughts rather than just blindly follow them. The mind is naturally peaceful. It's in order to understand just this much that we've come together to do this difficult practice of meditation. <laughs>